Welcome back to Ta-da! 3D Printing. One of the very first things that I printed on my Prusa XL single tool head was the buddy print. That came preloaded and back in the, that time frame, the preloaded files actually did work on the printer. And that print was about 17 and a half hours. Of course, it was just the stock 0.6 nozzle and the 0.32 layer height. I used the roll of Prusa Mint Galaxy Black that it came with and it turned out really good. The print didn't have any issues and everything was great on it. So now I really want to try this on the five tool head with five colors. And I don't trust the G code that came with my printer so I downloaded it from printables and the download one does come already colored with the five colors so it is ready to go. But the default that pulls up is going to take a lot of filament. The black alone is going to be over two rolls of filament. And I don't want to spend four days on this print. So I'm going to make some adjustments to speed it up. But I'm extremely distracted by the coloring of this. And I'm trying to figure out how I want to color it before. Of course, the real buddy was a black pug. So I look online to see what other color options there are for pugs. And I found this picture by the American Kennel Club, so that's going to be my example of the colors. And after recoloring all of the preloaded colors, this is what I came up with. I decided to do a red collar and dark brown eyes was my plan. And I think it looks really good. I have a real pretty tan color by Sunlu that I wanted to try out for this. And I, but I don't want to spend two rolls on it. So I'm going to change my settings now, go to input shaping and then also change my layer height to 0.32. And I figured that that's fine because that's what the last one ran and it worked out with no problems. I feel like if I change just about any settings on this, I have to move my tower. It seems like it either wants to pull up in the middle of my print or so far back on the build plate that it gives me an error. So I just move this around and this is a lot of improvement. I'm looking at about 34 hours now, but I'd still like to get it faster. So I'm gonna change my infill to lightning. And keeping it at the regular 15% works out fine. This is gonna take just over a day and my filament on extruder four is gonna be less than one roll, which is really what I wanted. I didn't wanna to have to be messing around changing the rolls halfway through this print. Okay, I do just wanna pull the trigger on this, but I think I'm gonna print a little sample small size first, just to make sure all the colors work as I want, they look good together, and that everything just functions correctly. So if I bring it down to three inches tall, this will take a little under two hours. Everything prints good, there's no issues with any of the tool heads, Every all the colors print and really don't have any issues with stringing either. Let's see how it looks. This turned out so much cuter than I was expecting. I really wasn't sure how the eyes would look. I ended up using the Galaxy Black for the eyes and just regular Overture Black for the face. And I wasn't sure if you would be able to see the difference, but even on this small scale, it looks really cool. I don't really love the way the beard is kind of sharp on the edges, but that's just a coloring thing. And all the colors look like they, you know, they, they went good together, even though I am using different brands. And I just love this cream color for the body. I think it's super cute. Even the little toenails turned out really good. I'm really surprised how well this did, considering it is the 0.6 nozzle, 0.32 layer height. I wasn't expecting it to have this much detail for this size. So even though around the collar it looks a little bit funny, I feel like that's just because of the layer height and the nozzle. And the temp tower looks pretty good as well. It does seem like the very bottom almost looks like it was a little tight on the bed, but everything else seems like it adhered pretty good and there's just a few wisps of strings. Really not bad at all. Way better than I've been seeing before. So I'm really excited to see how this will turn out with the full size. So I just go back into Prusa Slicer and put it back at the regular height. And this one's going to take the 25 hours. I'm really excited that it's not going to take multiple days. It's going to be fairly quick. So I just keep an eye on it. I have my wise camera set up so that I can just check in on it every so often. And then I see that the infill is starting to fill out a little bit along the front. And so I just wanted to kind of check on it. And it looks really cool. I think it's so neat, the lightning infill, just having it hollow inside and only fill up when it needs it is really cool. I really like this infill. 
And then a few hours later, I check on it again, and I notice that something just does not look right. I'm seeing a little bit of spaghetti along the front, and it almost looks like there's kind of an open space. So I rush out to my print room to see what is going on. The red is supposed to be printing, and it's not coming out of the nozzle. So I just push gently on the filament to kind of just push it through the filament sensor, and it does start printing. You can see just a little bit of red there where it kind of finished that layer and it's sagging and it's a mess. Of course, it's already moved on now to doing the black layer and I'm just really frustrated. It's like the red just didn't fire and I really don't understand why because it did work on the first one, the little, you know, mini one. And when I look down and see that it did even purge the red too, it purged all five colors. I didn't pause it, I just let it keep running and it does look like it's kind of recovering. It seems like as it's jumping between the different colors, the red is working, the black, the tan, they're all working. And here it looks like it's gonna be able to correct itself, which I am impressed with this. I am surprised that it seems like it kind of just creates a space in space and of course there's a mess there's an open space that I'm not going to be able to fill but I really want to just see how this print continues see if the red continues to work and I am also really anxious to see how overall the print's going to be because with my dragon I had some issues with the white eyes not printing and then when I got to that full height I had some issues with the tower. So I want to continue this print. I'm already in it this many hours and I just want to see what's going to happen. But even though it seems like the actual dog, the buddy print, is recovering as far as things are sticking to it well, when it goes to switch colors it does okay here when it like puts the tool head back but when you get the new tool head out notice how the tower the perch tower there's something going on there it's not really sticking in place it's starting to kind of bend and so that's not going to work but of course this was in the middle of the night which it seems like is when all of these things go wrong and I didn't see it so it continues to do its thing and just have this very bendy tower for quite a while and then at about five in the morning that purge tower just can't take it anymore and finally tips over. I'm completely unaware of any of this happening. I have my WISE camera set up as a time lapse, so it's just taking pictures every so often. I think I have it set at 10 seconds. But because I already have the WISE camera pointed at my print, I'm able to go back in and record this video of what exactly happened. So instead of just seeing, oh, it was there and then it's gone, I'm able to actually see it fall over slowly and then what happens after. So it continues printing for about another hour or so. And of course it's gonna have stringing and craziness. But then right around 6 a.m. it crashes and my third tool head is just completely off the track. Of course, this pauses the print and it continues to sit there for hours until I see it. And again, if I just had the time lapse, I probably wouldn't even be able to see what exactly happened. But even though it was continuing to record the time lapse, I was able to go into the live stream and then record the live stream to get the video of exactly what did happen. At about 6.06 .06 a.m., the third tool head is going to be running. This is the white color and there was some white color on there so the white is actually firing but then when it goes to home look it just like falls off the mount i show up just a few hours later and i expected my print to be almost done and see that not only is it erroring and beeping the tower has fallen over i have a stringing mess very interesting colors on that and my tool head is disconnected, just kind of hanging there. On my dragon, I had it fail to remount the tool changers, but I've never had it just kind of like fall off like this. But I am glad that it didn't notice that there was an issue and didn't try to keep printing and jamming it into another tool head or anything. It did pause itself. So I try to just put the tool head back in place, but it doesn't seem like it's recognizing that. So I just unhook it and put it back on its regular mount on the back. The screen now shows all of them as green checks. So I click continue. 
and it rehomes itself and it's going to have to heat up the tool heads again, the nozzles again. So it's going to take a little bit for that. And I'm just kind of watching it, wondering what I want to do at this point. I have about five hours left on this print and with the tower down, I'm really kind of stumped because it's not just a little bit, you know, to finish up the ears or something that I'm going to have a few strings. I'm going to have a lot of stringing, but I think, well, you know what? I'm, I'm this far into it. Let's just see how it finishes. So you can see that the temp tower is really beat up and it's kind of cracked where it should have had the red along the top and along the bottom it's cracked. So at first when I just look, I'm looking at this temp tower, I hadn't looked back at the video yet. I thought it was mainly at the bottom that the, was, was the issue. Um, and I couldn't really figure out why the top looked so weird. But of course, then when I looked back there, there's a couple issues with the red not printing in the middle made it kind of hollow right there. And so that kind of started to tip a little bit. And then at the base, it's almost like the filament didn't adhere together. So that is the main reason that the temp tower fell over. And I'm looking right now to see how much, you know, could I fill it somehow? But I don't think that that's possible that I could just, you know, maybe stick a little bit of something else in there or tape it up a little bit more. There, there was a decent amount of time that it printed without the tower. So I think I'm going to just keep it printing and just deal with the stringing. It had auto-homed itself to the front left corner. Now that it's finished heating, I guess it's gonna do a little bit more homing, but it starts crashing. So I hurry over and pause it, and it does still continue to keep moving. It tries to get the fifth tool head, but then gives me an error. It's just the crash detection, so I click through it and see if it's gonna fix itself. And I also, and I also adjust how these metal bars that lock onto the tool head are positioned. And honestly, as I, it's moving, I can't remember if it needs to be all the way to the right or all the way to the left. It doesn't lock on right, so I must have not had it quite right. This takes me a couple of tries to finally get it unmounted and then it does do its little homing and does correctly pick up the tool head. I wish that it wasn't, I mean, I don't know where else they could put the tool heads, but they're kind of difficult to work on all the way in the back like that. It does start printing. It is, you know, pushing the filament through like it should be, but it's just catching a lot on things, especially on the left side of the buddy. Of course, that's where the tool heads really are gonna be coming from the tower, so that's where it's looking the worst and it just seems like it catches so much that I'm just gonna have so many crash detections and pauses anyways that I decide there's no saving this print I'm just gonna stop the print I'm really frustrated that this didn't work out because I think it would have turned out really nice and I even made that little miniature one so I really expected this to not have issues but I think that red filament not firing just kind of created a domino and it's almost painful to look at this because like the toes look cool i mean it is a high layer height so you are going to see some of the layer lines but i like the way that it looks i really like this creamy tan and the foot's kind of interesting i mean i don't know how you would have colored that otherwise there is some kind of heavy seams just because i think how satiny this um filament is because I don't remember seeing the seams on the galaxy black but I feel like you really see all the details of this file in this color um, but right there you can see where the red had not worked on the collar kind of pulled through to the shoulder having some issues everything was smooth up to that point so that's just really where it fell apart and there is kind of a heavy seam right here as well. I almost wish that there was like a seam maybe down his spine. Maybe that would be a little more, you know, believable. And I really don't like how the beard is just a little bit not quite smooth. But everything else, I mean, this print would have been good. I'm surprised, you know, the white and the galaxy black both fired. So everything did good 
except the red, but it's just too much of a mess. So I used my last roll of this creamy tan um, filament to start this. So I don't have another one that I can just throw on the printer and start a new print. But I think while I wait on that order to come in, I can get on the chat with Prusha and just see because it does seem like there were several issues that happened because of the red filament, but I feel like I've had this happen a lot where the filament just is not firing. So I need to see what they recommend and maybe just kind of take a couple days to, to have a game plan and start this print again. Okay, so Prusha recommended a couple of things. For the filament not firing, they said that I should go ahead and tighten up my idler screws a little bit. There's two screws on the back of the tool head here. You cannot get to them easily. You are you do have to take this cover off on the back. Um, and they said just go ahead and tighten all of them up because it doesn't seem like it's just one tool head that's done this to me, like that it's always tool head three. It seems like it's, it kind of jumps around and so they said, let's go ahead and just tighten them all up. So I do, after getting this back cover off, I go through and I tighten them all up. The other things that they had mentioned um, with that tower kind of bending, they said that the different filaments are not maybe adhering very well to each other. So they recommended heating it up a little bit hot, hotter, having the temperature of everything be a little bit hotter so that maybe they can kind of stick to each other a little bit more. And then since I'm going to be running this again, I decide that I want to clean up his beard a little bit in Prusa Slicer. So I just take the brush tool and I'm not going to spend a lot of time on this. I'm just going to take a little bit of these kind of harsh edges off just a little bit. The other thing that I do when I'm running this again is I went back to the grid infill. And the main reason that I did that was because I stupidly thought that it would also affect the infill on the tower. And that's what I felt like was a big issue in addition to the red, but that the tower just needed a little more support inside. But I didn't realize until way later when I'm really looking back at this, that the infill grid only applies to the print. It does not change the tower. I guess that makes sense because we don't want to be using a lot of excess material on the tower, but in a scenario like this where your tower falls over and has issues, not very great. So I'm kind of anxious to see how this is going to turn out. I really wanted to keep an eye on it when it did switch over to the red color, but because I changed my overall print, it's going to be, of course, it's going to hit a little different timing. So I try to keep an eye on this when it's going to switch over to the red collar, but I do miss it by just a little bit. And again, the red does not fire. I catch it a little bit quicker on this one. It's just a little bit of a gap that you can see there, but I really don't understand why the red's not working. It's not like it's not loaded. And even here where it runs through to the reel, it's not like anything's catching it. So I again just kind of slowly push it through and you can see that my fingers are moving and then yep, now it's starting to extrude. So it's like it just, I don't get it because all of the filaments did their purge along the front. It makes zero sense to me why it doesn't work. But it does seem like once I've got the filament pushing through back and forth the different tool heads it's not having issues continuing to print so I kind of wish that it would tell me when different colors would start because so much of this is just the tan it takes a long time to get to the red and of course when I'm jumping around with different infills I'm not going to know exactly when it's going to be so I, I kind of wish it would tell you when of course that would be really complicated on a lot of other things so I don't know that that's reasonable. And then right around here, a portion of the tower falls down. I assume that that's something to do with it not firing right, and there, there was just kind of a little bit of a defect in the tower. But not that much longer later, and the fifth tool head also falls off the mount, like the third one had done. This pauses it, and it waits several hours for me to wake up and realize what had happened to it. 
I have never bothered to set up Prusa Link, Prusa Connect with any of my Prusas, but it does make me wonder if you guys get any sort of notification if the printer errors and pauses. I mean, I understand spaghetti detection is difficult, but do you guys get some sort of notice on your phone or something like that if this were to happen? And hopefully it would wake me up and I could go out there quickly. The next morning I see, of course, there's an error on the fifth tool head. I struggle a little bit with this to get the tool head mounted again where it's supposed to. It goes through its homing process and does not have the issues that it did on the last go round. So I don't know what that was about. Maybe I had just left the little metal tabs out funny and it caught. I'm not really sure. But this does rehome and go back through. Of course, now it's got to heat up again because it sat for so long. It does start printing again without issue, and I'm trying to decide with this extra infill, is it, or more infill, the regular grid infill, is it going to have less issues with the stringing like it was catching on that lightning because of the way that it was pulling the string from the tower, but after just a little bit of it printing, I realize that this is not going to work because it's just printing off just a little bit. So I unfortunately stop the print again. And then when I go to remove it from the print bed, it's not stuck down. It had moved, it had shifted just a little bit. So I'm almost wondering if maybe it had just cooled too much on the bed because it had aired quite a bit earlier in the night. And so I just think that it's sitting for that long it probably just wasn't stuck to the bed, and then when the print head bumped it, it almost seemed like it shifted it over a little bit and back a little bit. So this front layer just looks too far forward is the only way I can explain it. It doesn't even look like it skipped. It just is not right. And there are some funny spots on the back where, of course, where the collar started, of course, it seems like there's always issues there. Everything else printed the same as the first one. Of course, this is much heavier than the first one because it doesn't have the lightning infill. I was really hoping that this one would work out and I'm a little stumped what to do now because what other options are there? Also, I forgot to mention that I actually glued the area for the temp tower down or the purge tower, whatever it is. I glued it down because I didn't want it to fall over. And it did stick very well. It, I had a little bit of troubles getting it off the print bed, but it did still have the same issues of being kind of loose. And of course, that's not where it actually failed. It failed where the collar was supposed to be. Um, and I, I just don't know what to do to make these towers better. Of course, I didn't even get as far as the last one. The last one I got farther. And of course, it's it has the same kind of issue halfway through or so where the collar started. So there's just several defects in the tower that's causing issues in the print. When I had talked to Prusha about the issues that I was having with this originally, I did ask about not having a purge tower, and they said that it was not recommended. Um, so that's partly why I ran it the second time, the higher temperatures, and kind of tried to change up the infill. But I feel like the tower is the problem. So I did order a lot of this filament, and I want to continue to try it because I love this color so much, but I'm gonna run it without a tower at all. And since I'm having such a hard time with the red filament, I swapped them. So before I had the red filament in the second slot and the, actually I had the galaxy black on the top, but I swapped that with a brown. So I do have to change that in my settings. I had already re-sliced this when I decided that I wanted to flip the filament. So I just go through and swap these out, replace each one so that one is printing on two and two is printing on one. I also went back to lightning infill and I watched this like a hawk and I saw the very first layer, the red, it's looking good. It did fire, it's looking amazing. It's back to the tan right now, which is number four it's doing great. So, so I stop my hovering and let it continue printing. And then I look at it again and it stopped again, but I was able to catch it pretty quick and just push the filament through like I had been. And it started up again 
And I waited around for a while to make sure that everything caught and was working. Everything seemed like it was doing good. All the colors were jumping back and forth like they should be. And I just didn't really want to babysit it anymore. So I let it continue printing. And it continued to print fine throughout the night. And then the next morning I woke up to this on my phone when I tried to check it. And I really thought the eyes were completely hadn't printed. It just looks terrible. And the fifth tool head just didn't remount. The middle of the eyes actually did print. The kind of dark brown or medium brown did print, but the white did not. And I have a little bit of trouble getting this to mount again, get the, fi the fifth tool head to go where it's supposed to. I get it going again and I kind of babysit it and make the white filament work. But I realized that it again had shifted it over just a little bit. You can see on the bed where it should have been. But when it changed tool heads, it pushed it over. And now there's no way I'm going to be able to line that up again. So this print is done as well. After three failed prints, I really still wanted to finish this, even if only to have a good ending to this extremely long video. And I've had more comments than I can count tell me that I need to use a different type of filament, specifically Prusament, which I can understand. So you know what? I got online and I was ready to order all five colors in Prusament. Okay, so here I am. I've got the white PLA. That'll work. Maybe I could use a blue PLA just to kind of jazz it up for the collar. Maybe I could use the mystic brown for the eyes. And then I keep scrolling. I didn't want to use galaxy black. There is out of stock, out of stock, out of stock. I can't even get the color that I want. I want a jet black. And I can't even get that. I can't even get a brown. Everything. All of these colors are really pretty. They are all out of stock. I don't know what's going on. I look to see if maybe the bundles were in stock. Maybe that's the last ditch effort. And also out of stock. So please tell me where you're getting your Prusament. I know that this is after the holiday, but this is almost a month after the holiday. So I can't imagine that they just sold out of everything around Christmas. I am going to get back on to Prusa chat again and discuss some of these issues because things not firing, even when they purge, they do their original purge in the beginning of the print. If they're still not firing when they need to, there is a problem and it, it doesn't make sense to me because it doesn't even seem consistent. And this red that had issues worked flawlessly in my red dragon. So it, it, it doesn't seem like there's any rhyme or reason to these issues. I am going to continue to run without a tower because I see zero reason to keep that. But I really want to hear your comments if anybody else has been dealing with these colors not firing and what you did. Do I just need to tighten my idler screws way tighter? I, I'm up for any suggestion at this point. I have been able to get really boring prints to work, but these tall multicolored ones just don't seem to be working for me. So let me know your thoughts. Thanks for watching.